Hello guys, what's up? I'm Risham Bio for Cinemas Clean. I'm here to show you a small tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at digital painting in Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you how to blend colors and how to use those blended color shapes to create your own custom brushes. So let's just go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to create a A4 size file and uh, I'm going to try to paint normally on it because it might lag. So so let just let's just be precautious and uh, let's just scale it down a bit it's at 3500 let's make it 3000 3000 so let's just not zoom in totally and uh, this workspace is not that ethical for digital painting so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go into windows workspace and change it to painting so that we have all our brush presets over here and also a navigator it's not if you don't find the navigator just go to swatches uh, so this is going to be right there so just switch to navigators right beside it navigator and uh, then what you do is create a new layer and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your brush do most of the work for you and not yourself so you can see it's lagging already quite easily so what I'm going to do now is use the mark your selection tool elliptical mark you I'm just going to create a small circle not a small one but yeah a circle so let's just create a circle and uh, use the paint brush tool and uh, one of the, uh, the opacity is set to 50 and uh, have this on this is for the pen pressure of the tablet uh, if you're using a tablet if you're not you can try this with a mouse but I don't think it's going to work without a tablet so let's just keep the flow to 5% we don't want much flow and go into this I selected the third paint brush over here so what I'm going to do now is switch off shape dynamics and transfer but it's a smooth curve and let's just let's just have the spacing somewhere between 20 to uh, I mean 15 to 10 so it's at 30 now so now I'm going to increase the brush size and you can see it's set to black and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start painting it's actually painting perfectly it's not lagging so you can see I'm just painting in arcs I'm just I'm not doing anything ridiculously hard here so I'm just painting arcs so keep painting arcs as much as you can s I mean as far as you can see the shadow so that's enough for me and you can use the navigator over here to see if your shadows are perfectly in place and uh, I think that's about right and we need a highlight now so the light is falling from this side so what I'm gonna do now is switch to white make the brush size smaller a little smaller and paint in the white color over here so you can see it over here that it's bright and white now so I'm just gonna what you want around the highlight is for not for it not to be sharp because this ball is not a very reflective surface so it's not gonna reflect any everything exactly the way it sees it not like a mirror so it doesn't need to be very sharp I'm just gonna smooth out everything over here so and uh, there's a little white space in the bottom of the ball too so the reason I'm drawing this in is because uh, the floors reflect so when you keep a ball with this much specularity or reflectivity on the ground the ground is normally or naturally gonna reflect the surface so this is how it's gonna look naturally so we have one ready so this is one ball so it looks pretty okay I'm not going into much I just want to show you how the shading can help when you have your brush changed to a default or custom preset so let's just keep that one aside so black and white is quite easy to blend in because they just native colors and grayscale works pretty close to Photoshop so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna experiment it with uh, let's say blue and yellow so let's just choose the colors now I'm going to use a dark blue and let the yellow be a bright yellow because the yellow is going to be the light of uh, I mean <laughs> the light source and uh, so here we go bright yellow and dark blue so choose the paintbrush again large size start painting so on this this uh, on the blue however darker you choose the blue it's not going to make it look like a perfect shadow when you're painting it uh, I'll just show you how to fix that in the end so we just paint that in you can see how fast we're getting to paint a sphere without going ahead and choosing and uh, color picking 
using too much alt and stuff so use that lower the brush size switch to X and uh, color in the yellow over here I don't want it to go that much so I'm just gonna color in the yellow over here not too bright so then let's just I, don't, I have no idea why it switched to crop so let's just undo that and control shift D so that just load down my process like so much so let's just go ahead in and uh, paint that in so let's just go back to yellow and paint your light source in and, uh, just just make it big and fluffy and uh, you know like smooth and stuff so it doesn't have to be extremely smooth just keep your hand going freely don't don't work hard on it and uh, let's just have a little on the curve edge over here because you're gonna see some shadow over there so I'm gonna make it make the brush size a little bigger so that we can blend in more color so you can see that it's turning up pretty well now so yeah that's about it and uh, as I told you to make this blue look like shadow over here I'm just gonna switch it back to black and uh, start painting black in on this ball so now you can see now it actually looks like a ball blue ball with the yellow light on it so what we're gonna gonna do now is scale this down too and uh, keep it over here let's just scale this down to a little smaller size too because we're gonna need a lot of workspace over here for the next step so next what you're gonna do is uh, you can see that the brush over here has a uh, different stuff in it not just a brush so it has a pencil color replacement tool mixer brush tool so what I'm gonna do now is go to the mixer brush tool and also you can see that all of these art keys are B so it's not gonna work when you just keep hitting B and it's not gonna cycle through the tools so what you can do for that is hold shift and then press B so it's gonna cycle through the tools which are applying uh, which are over there so what I'm gonna do with the mixer brush tool is it's just like a color picker or a, what do you say a clone stamp tool but instead it chooses what you take uh, I mean it chooses what you pick and uh, makes it into a brush preset and it applies all the natural color details and highlights and everything so let me just go, go ahead and show you this I, I know it's a little bigger than the sphere but that doesn't matter because the layer is empty on the outside so I'm just gonna go ahead and press alt and pick that so you can see the small box over here which will show you your sphere get, uh, get selected you can see it very tiny so what I'm gonna do now is go to the smallest brush size and uh, change this to dry heavy load and uh, let's just keep everything normal and let's just don't increase your spacing at all your spacing should be zero or one because zero is not available in spacing so let's just draw I know this is quite slow the recording software is slowing it down so you can see it applies all the light it just took from the sphere and it uh, applies it to the what do you say the paint brush or paint your paint brush you're using and uh, it actually uses those values and paints it like it's a 3d object you can just go line over line and it's gonna look like it's a 3d object painted over on over another object and you can also use it for painting uh, you know wires and stuff you can continue it from another wire like this you can do abstract art from it you can draw wires for your I mean yeah I was talking about wires you can draw wires for your robots and stuff if you're doing robot art you can you can also use this for tree branches in some places like you can just do use a brown tool uh, I mean a brown sphere and use it for tree branches you can just give it some brown freckles here and there and you can do that so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, select the sphere and uh, control shift I and delete the rest of these guys so let's go ahead into color now so color looks a little more beautiful when you use that tool on it so just pick the color and B scale it down and uh, go ahead and paint it came all jaggy in that anyway so you can see that it takes the color information from that and it doesn't look that cool over here it's just a sphere but when it comes to painting it as a wire or something it looks really cool and you can see that the information applies like this depth into the image like this could be the far away wire which is rolling out into the front and there's an 
egg shape or something in the f for in the most what do you say that's it's the most topest layer I don't know so this is all I wanted to show you guys today and uh, hope this helped you with all your digital painting techniques and uh, you can use these techniques to paint anything like skin or even blend in colors very easily it's going to be really useful when you're painting and uh, I found it useful myself and uh, thanks for watching guys leave a like comment and uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, thanks for watching share this video too to your friends and others if you want to encourage the video making thank you bye bye